If you don't know me, I'm Sylvia Dana. I've been teaching KB Core since 2018. I am an agent. I sell real estate. I run a team. And I've been using KB Core as my sole CRM and website platform, et cetera. So we're going to take a little test. So yeah, as you answer, as people keep answering, it will change. So, um, you know, this is always the biggest one. Everybody wants to know how to generate leads. You want to generate leads so much. Okay. I want to know how to use the CRM every day. Great. I want to know about setting up my own KB Core website. Wonderful. I want to know about leveraging KB Core in my digital marketing strategy. That should be a big one. <laughs> I want to know about converting leads into transactions. Only see some of you, you all want leads, but you don't want to know how to convert them. It's interesting to me. I want to know about drip campaigns and automation with KB Core. Out of the people who've answered so far, still the majority is 15, but because I shamed some of you, you started answering, yes, I want to know how to convert. <laughs> I do want to get leads, of course. That's what makes it fun and makes it seem worth it. I know. Um, all right, good. And so the majority of you want to know about lead generation. The second majority wants to know how to use KB Core as your CRM every day. And that's fantastic. And a good amount of you want to know about setting up your own KB Core, which is fantastic as well. Because you want to know your systems. You want to understand them at least. Um, and be able to change, make your own changes and do things that you want to do with it. Because then you have total control and then you can start delegating to VAs that you hire because you know what you're doing and then you can tell any somebody else what you want done. Okay, I like that more people are saying they wanna know about leveraging KB Core in their digital marketing strategy. I wanna talk about some activities, leveraging KB Core for client care. Now we're not gonna get through this all right now. <laughs> um, if you are in my all new coaching program, you have access to a recording where I really dig into this from a KB Core happy hour. Or if you're not in my all new coaching program, but you signed up to be in KB Core happy hour only, um, you have access to the recording of this. But we'll, we'll kind of just touch on it. So I often hear people who, they don't want to use KB Core. They, they um, say, well, I, you know, I just, I'm so referral based. Sylvia, you know, I just, I get all my clients from referrals and I just, I don't know. I don't really need to use that, you know, and it's just, it's so funny to me. You know, when I used to sell cars, you know, I got a lot of referrals, but you know, you get so much traffic sometimes walking the door. How do you organize all that? You have to organize it, keep it all in a system. And then, you know, cause you would feel terrible if people fell through the cracks. I feel terrible because people still do you know, cause I'm just a human being and I'm only one person. Um, if people still fall through the cracks and then you feel bit really bad. You have to organize them. Um, and so you can leverage KB Core as your CRM. You know, a lot of people think, oh, KB Core is a, it, it's a lead generating thing. Like I get leads from that. No, it's, it's just a tool. You can get leads. You can have lead sources that trickle into KB Core, but you, it's also your CRM. You know, so you can add everybody in there. So here's some different client care activities you can do in KB Core. You can, you can call them. <laughs> you can check in monthly or quarterly, and you can schedule out calls in KB Core. You can add birthday and home anniversary messages automated, which is super nice. It's kind of like one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, cause, cause you know, one of my people will get, uh, you know, a happy birthday message. It'll say, Hey, you know, I hope you're doing something fun for your birthday today. And someone will reply, Oh yeah, we went to Texas and we're in, you know, blah, 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 or we're going on vacation or we're just going out to dinner or, you know, or we're going to a movie, you know, people reply and it's nice. They, you know, and then I, I feel good about that. You can, you know, send congratulations, condolences. Um, you can send out mass email newsletters to, give them updates about the, the market or, you know, home improvement plans or, you know, spring cleaning or whatever, you know, sending a text, thinking of you text, scheduling out pot buys that you're going to do, scheduling out um, and inviting people to client events, VIP client appreciating events, or, you know, saying that you want to meet somebody for coffee, you know, reaching out to them, asking them to schedule a time with you. You're sending out listing valuations and market reports and search alerts to people that you know. Um, handwritten note cards, scheduling out when you're going to send out your handwritten note cards or other types of mailings that you're going to do, calendar mailings. 
you know, you can create a, a post-closing campaign that's, you know, tailored to the way you want it. You can track when you are doing a social media post or when you friend somebody on Facebook. Friend people on Facebook that are in your CRM or find them on LinkedIn, connect with them on LinkedIn, those types of things. And then you could add the client detail, client info about their lives to track. Okay, here you guys choose. If you want me to tell you about birthday and home anniversaries, put it in the chat. Say, I want to learn about birthday and home anniversaries. Or if you want to learn about, um, let's see, something different, put that in there <laughs> out of this list. And then I'm going to choose what is the most popular. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you what's in my DIY guide. I'm going to give you the link so you can get the DIY guide. And then I'm going to finish what I was talking about here. So in my DIY guide, so I have, here's what I have. First of all, I have a calendar of events. So anytime I'm doing a training, you can see it. And if you, it, and you'll, it, it, if it's a free training that everybody has access to, you'll, you'll see how to get into it. If it's uh, for, with one of my coaching programs that you have to sign up for you, you have to be a part of that program. I give you information in the calendar, like how to do that. Okay. <laughs> um, so best uses and features of KV Core, five tips for getting started with KV Core. What experienced agents won't tell you about lead generation? It's a 13 minute training that I, that I love. Um, that I did. Um, how to leverage KV Core in Facebook, how to set up KV Core from start to finish masterclass. So if you did this masterclass, now would you be as set up as like my team would set you up? No, it's a fraction of it, but it is so much better than other setups you might pay for with somebody else. I'm just saying. A new agent kit for KV course, zero to 60 leads in 90 minutes training I did recently. More essential training you got to check out, working with your sphere. My paid option, all my programs to get to become a coaching client. Um, how to add a lender, um, more free training about lenders and what you should be doing with KV core every day. Caroline was asking, can I, can I, can I show her how to import contacts in bulk? And so um, in my DIY guide, if you go here, you'll notice, look, lead import template. That, that's my own template that I created with a video training. It's eight minute video training. How convenient. KV Core lead gen template. All the good stuff is in here. Um, how to make your website compliant in Texas more on-demand training options and free webinars, um, how to become an affiliate for me, um, all my stuff, okay? So let's just do home anniversary right now, home anniversary, because um, it's a good one. So step one, you know, somebody asked, like, how do I import all my contacts? Definitely do that. Import all your contacts. Follow that training from my DIY guide about, about how to bulk import all your contacts Organize your contacts and adding them to the smart CRM. That's what you want to do. And if you're scared to do it, just do it for like 25 of them. Choose 25 contacts because you can handle dealing 25 contacts in a day. Do it for 25 contacts to start. Just bulk import 25 and then see what happens with them and then go through each one. Make sure they're on a, assign them to a campaign, assign them to search alerts or listing valuations. Do all the things that you're going to do with that contact. Just start with 25 at a time. Okay, so that's my best advice. All right, so let's, um, I'm going to search for people in my sphere. And I'm going to go uh, select contact sphere. And then I'm going to do contact details or maybe, and then I'll say has birthday. See that? So I'm going to find people that have a birthday. So I, I, I selected my sphere and people that have a birthday in there and apply filters. Now what I can do, I have how many people in my sphere that have a birthday that I have in here? Probably not, I only have 170. I wish I had a lot more birthdays in here. But let me um, open up one and see if I have her, her birthday. Her birthday might be in there, but I, do I have her checked in? Do I have her opted in to get messages from me? I don't know. So I'm opening up my contact here. I'm going to go to profile details. And then what's irritating is that I have to go, I can't really see much here. I don't really like how it is. And I'm going to edit the details just to look at it better. And then notice her birthday's in here. Oh, it's two days after mine. I'm sure she wasn't born in 2017. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know the year they were born. You just need to know the day. Okay. I think I added her in 2017 into KV Core. And so I just decided that was going to be her birthday day, <laughs> birthday year. And then notice this little toggle has to be on. You have to opt in every single person individually that they're going to get birthday messages from you. Okay. Now let's look at one that um, maybe has, has a house anniversary too. 
Okay, so for Lorena and Pedro, I have um, their last close date, August 2nd, 2019, and they're going to get an anniversary email and text. So they opted them in. So you have to go opt them all in for that. So that is step one. Going through, so if you say you're doing this for the first time, you have your 25 contacts, you import them, you, you know, one thing to do is make sure there's a birthday and maybe a last close date. So where do you, where do you find the messages that are sent, right? So I'm going to go to marketing, all marketing, and you will notice birthdays and anniversaries, learn more, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then so by default, anybody who... I have opted in to receive the birthday messages or receipt or opted in to see the anniversary of purchase and they meet one of these criteria statuses, their clothes, their client, their contract or sphere. If they meet any of these and they've been opted in to get that message and there's actually a birthday in there, then those are the people that are going to get it. So you can read this in more detail because it's going to explain exactly what's happening. And by default, there's a default templates in here. Um, that you can look at. And if you click on change template, it'll show you what's there. This is one that I, I updated because I had, you know, what I did is I just, um, I saw the one that was in here and it was the same one, like every time. So I decided I really at least want a new picture <laughs> in there um, or say something new. So I decided I'm going to put like as an annual task for myself, as an annual task, I have to update my birthday messages and home anniversary messages. So it's different pictures, says different stuff for both my text messages and, and emails. So what you'll see when you get in here is it'll show you um, the default template. And you can choose to run it on the date of that event or the day before or the day after the event, however one you want. And you'll see the there's a text message option and there is a um, email option. Now with here, um, you're not going to be able to just like with the behavior alerts, how you could just write the message right in here and save it. You're at, if you want to change it, you don't want the default. You actually have to go in, go into your templates and create new templates. So how do you do that? I'm just going to say this really quickly. Go to smart campaigns. I'm sorry, smart uh, marketing, rather marketing and then smart campaigns and then templates, and you'll be able to see, like for email and text, like happy birthday, okay? Happy birthday. And you'll be able to see this happy birthday email, and it'll say clone here, and you won't be able to edit it. Why can't you edit it? Well, because it's, it's a system email, default email, and so you can't edit it. You'll actually, if you want to change it, you just make a whole new one. So I cloned the template and named it happy birthday email 2022. And I updated it with my own picture and just ch changed it around a little bit. Um, and uh, it, it kept it simple, updated it, and then named the template um, happy birthday email 2022. And then back to my birthdays and anniversaries. I then went to the template for the email, change template. I found my template here. And then like this, happy birthday email 2022. Added the template to make sure it was there. And then it shows me which one is here. And then same with the text. And then same here with the, the home anniversary ones. I changed, I have it, I have it uh, in my mind annually that I'll change what the home anniversary email looks like and the text. Um, so this is the home anniversary one. And there you go. It can be whatever you want. You want to create it. Um, if you want to create a template that has a video message in it, maybe you have a video message that you create on YouTube. That's a, um, that is an unlisted video and you put that in there. Absolutely. Put that in there. You'd use the advanced email editor to put a video message in there. And it can be just something you create on YouTube. It can do it for free. Or if you've upgraded to core video premium, you can, there's a bomb bomb integration. You could add, you know, maybe created a generic happy birthday message from, from um, core video and you could add that. I know Frank, I love core video. It is the, it, if you have bomb bomb 
like, and you're using KV Core at a pretty high level, I would totally get rid of your bomb bomb account and just upgrade to Core Video Premium for 30 bucks a month. And um, you can do so much with it. You actually have a, you have the a core, you have a bomb bomb account that you log in with your core video premium. You can access your whole library and do whatever you want with those bomb bomb videos. You don't have to use them just for KB Core, but then you can use them for KB Core and, and include them in your text message campaigns and, um, and email campaigns. Those, those bomb bomb videos as part of campaigns and send as many as you want. So that's one little tip for the day, but